Today is Monday, it is Labor Day, and for those that have it off, or if you are working, unfortunately, either way, I'm hoping you're having a great start to the week. Today, it is a very gloomy, gloomy day, and I am loving it. It's been raining on and off since last night, and I'm so glad because the temperatures have dropped. It's probably like high 70s, low 80s. Inside our home, it's nice and chilly because we forgot to turn up our AC, so hence is why I have the sweater. But on today's agenda, I am going to run out right now and um, I have a couple errands to run. And one of them is I need to go to Hobby Lobby because I want to get like a nice little jar, like an amber color, because I want to make some fall candles today. And I originally was going to add essential oils, but I said, let me make my own as far as I make a concoction with allspice, cinnamon, nutmeg, pumpkin pie spice, and then I have some cinnamon sticks that I'm gonna go ahead and kinda of cut up and crush a little bit, and I'm gonna add that to the wax, so I think that will set off all the autumn scents that you typically like in candles. So we're gonna do that. I wanna pop into a thrift store, just kinda of see what they have, and I want to go to Trader Joe's. So I don't know when it's gonna happen, but I'm hoping it's this week, but I don't think it's there yet. So typically I buy all my pumpkins from Trader Joe's, all my fantasy pumpkins. And when I say fantasy pumpkins, they're typically the pumpkins that are like the, the quirky ones, the ones that look like they have warts on them, um, the light uh, pastel greens, um, all the funky looking car uh, pumpkins. And I always buy probably about six quirky pumpkins and that is what I decorate my porch with. So I'm slowly buying some items because I will be working on my fall porch decorate with me video hopefully soon. I'm waiting for the pumpkins to arrive and that's also why I'm going to Hobby Lobby. I need to pick up a few fall items. So um, I'm going to go there, but I do think it, I don't think they're there just yet. I'm thinking they might get there at the end of this week or possibly next week. But let me tell you something, Trader Joe to me is so nostalgic around fall time. It's like pumpkin explosion there. And sometimes Travis and I go there just to, oh, this is weird. Sometimes we go there literally just to see what fall treats they have and items they have. We may buy something, we may not, but it's just so nostalgic to go there and just kind of walk around and see what they have. A lot of the times we go there and buy like little snacks for the house, stuff that we don't need, but we do enjoy. So have a couple errands to run. And then when I get back, we'll be making some fall candles. I'm also gonna make a pumpkin pie spice syrup. So that'll be like for our coffee. You could probably even pour it on like ice cream or something, I don't know. But I definitely want it for my coffee because we are in pumpkin season and I am going to enjoy all the flavor notes of autumn. So we're gonna do that and then since it's so gloomy and the weather is just right for it, I'm gonna make a yummy baked potato soup. So we're gonna have a fun day at home. I have to run a couple of errands and then we're gonna come at home and do some little DIYs and just looking, looking forward to hanging out with you guys today. So I am gonna get some shoes on so we can get going.
some random haul of a few goodies that I have found and I was quite thirsty so I had to fix me a little glass of lemonade because shopping and running errands you get quite thirsty when you're out and about so let me show you the few goodies that I found so this is what I'm going to use and I love the color to do my fall candles and I want to wrap something around the mouth of this little jar and I'm thinking like a little get like a little string of hay or yarn or something I'll, I know I have to have something in this home so I'm gonna wrap it around and tie a little bow just to give it another little layer of something very cute on the candle so I have two of these so I'm gonna make two fall candles with these two jars and I've never so I've made candles before here at the house and I've always just used a, a wick so I bought a wood wick this time because I want the crackling sound like there's nothing more soothing and calming like the sound of a crackling fireplace but it's not fireplace season yet so I decided to buy the wood wick so we can enjoy the crackling sound here at home and oh and another goodie I found and what I'm loving about Hobby Lobby right now is just everything is 40% off all the fall stuff I found this beautiful vase gorgeous love it and then i'm going to put this vase on my island and then i found these like dainty little wild fall flowers so yeah so i think it will look really really pretty i need to fix them and arrange them so it'll look really pretty once i add it on the island I bought these since i am on a baking kick and i tend to bake lots of goodies and feed them and feed my kids and my friends. So I bought these, this is from the dollar store. I bought these little containers. They're so cute. I bought literally bought this at Dollar Tree. And let me tell you, I love Dollar Tree. That's where I go to buy all like my gift bags and like um, tissue paper or some party essentials or like for baking and stuff. I found these cute, little tubs how cute that says treats on them and then I am gonna bake um, lots of fall cookies and give them to my kids and my friends I went to the thrift store and I thrifted this little basket for two dollars is that not cute so what I plan on doing with this is baking some homemade bread and putting it in here with some, like a pretty little fall um, um, kitchen towel and some like parchment paper and just make it all pretty and then give this to someone I just thought that would be I love giving homemade gifts I don't know why I just find it it's such a thought out gift when you're thinking with someone special and you make something from your home love it love it love it and then last and final I was not planning to get this but I went to the thrift store and I thrifted this oversized sweatshirt I just liked the message and I thought it was cute it says different let me see hold on we all grow at different rates and look how cute that is like different little Christmas trees and I just thought that'd be a cute little sweatshirt to lounge around the home in and I also got this I find the best flannels and like sweatshirts in the men area in the men's area I don't know why but they have like the best stuff then I've thrifted this like it's almost like a pale like christmas or autumn green like you can wear it for both season and it's so soft so i got this and these are all like in size larger so that way they're like really big and baggy and you can wear it with jeans and your little i don't know shoes sneakers uggs or whatever but yes yeah, so this is another oversized sweatshirt that i got and the last and final item that i got was this flannel I got this one here I thought it was so cute and you could wear it with a nice little white girly little t-shirt underneath so everything was under like seven bucks and this basket was two dollars from the thrift store so I did find some finds and I'm about to put all this away and we're gonna start on a fall hold on I always they always have like long words it's a pumpkin pie spice coffee syrup so we're gonna work on that that way we have it in the morning and we can add it to our coffee in the morning and enjoy the pumpkin flavors okay 
changed clothes. I'm back in the sweats that I had on this morning because we're about to go ahead and make some candles and we're gonna go ahead and make our pumpkin pie spice coffee syrup. I don't know why, I feel like it's like a tongue twister, but we're gonna go ahead and do that and I know that I'm probably gonna get dirty, so decided just to put on the sweats that I had this morning when I was enjoying my beautiful morning cozy routine. I love my morning routines to me getting up a little bit early before your day starts, having that alone time, quiet time to yourself is just essential for me. I love it, it sets the tone for my day. So love having that quiet time to myself while I sip on my coffee. So now we're gonna start making our candles. I thought I was gonna do the coffee syrup first, but we're gonna go ahead and do the candles because those need time to dry. And I'm gonna show you the supplies that I'm gonna use. They're very minimal and they're just so fun to make. I love it. You will need to make your candles, your little candle jars, whatever you have sourced to make your candles with, that is what you will need. What I like to do, I like to get these candles from the dollar store because I'm gonna melt the wax and I'm gonna reuse it and pour it in here. I do that all the time. It is the most affordable way to make candles, so I highly suggest that you do. And then, since I'm using a wood wick, I don't need it this time, but I'll even reuse the wick that's in here. So I make really good use of that wax and that wick, and it's like the best bang for your buck if you're wanting to make candles at home versus buying the big bags of wax. And then my... um wood wick that I showed you guys earlier. I'm gonna use this to hold the wick in place if it really needs it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make my little concoction right now to add my um, fragrances for my candles. So I'm gonna do that and get working on these guys. And I cannot wait to see how they turn out. cannot be more happier with these candles they smell amazing I highly recommend do not buy essential oils all I added was ground cloves cinnamon pumpkin pie spice and then I broke up the cinnamon sticks and when they the wax cooled off a little bit where you started seeing it get a little bit more where it's more hardened up a little bit that's when you add the little cinnamon sticks that way they won't sink and it gives them that nice like little milky look with cinnamon sitting on top. But look at that. I am so, so happy. I cannot wait to light these. I'm going to still let it cool off a little bit because you can still tell that the, the wax hasn't completely hardened. But while these are cooling off, I'm going to work on my pumpkin pie coffee syrup. candy like a caramel sauce I can't wait to try it but I'm gonna let it cool and then I'll stick it in the fridge so whenever I do try it tomorrow by the time on my next video not this one obviously but my next one I'll give you guys an update but it smells amazing mm -hmm. 
decided to chit chat with you guys just for a minute while the coffee syrup is cooling off candles already cooled off and I'm just here just taking a little break but as you can see there were no pumpkins <laughs> giving you an update on Trader Joe's there were no pumpkins yet they had a few fall um little treats that I showed you in the video but not a whole lot but I know for sure by the end of this week or next week they're going to have it's gonna be pumpkin explosion at Trader Joe's. So it was still fun to go. Um, I love it. I'm having, even though September just started, I am kicking off the month and enjoying fall because I always try to celebrate the fall season all of September, all of October, and then in November, even though it's not Christmas, I slowly start decorating for Christmas. That way I have two months of Christmas because I feel like the holidays, they come and they go so quickly. So this is my way of making the most out of each holiday. So I tend to get a little ahead of myself, but you know what? There's no rule in the book that says you can't decorate for fall in early September and for Christmas in November. And of course, when it's Thanksgiving week, you know, I'm all about Thanksgiving. But, you know, I love this time of the year. It definitely is, you know, a time to celebrate, a time to enjoy the season, enjoy the fall co colors, enjoy the fall flavors, just truly enjoy and be rooted in the season. So I'm definitely going to create you know, as many fall videos that I possibly can because that is my outlet. That is the what I enjoy the most is creating, making a story, hope, delivering a nice cozy video because I live such a relaxed, cozy lifestyle. That is something that I like to portray in my videos because that who, that is what represents me. So I'm enjoying, you know, even though it's the 1st of September, I am truly going to enjoy this time. And in my previous vlog, I said, I mentioned that we were going to take a trip somewhere. And that trip is to Salem, Massachusetts, guys. Yes, it is like the epitome of Halloween, fall. We're going to go to Salem, Massachusetts and enjoy all the Halloween and fall, you know, things to do up there. And then we're going to also go to Cape Cod. So I am looking forward to going up there and taking you guys with me. And obviously I'm going with my kids. So it makes it even more exciting because I love creating these memories with these guys, these big adult kids of mine. So we're going to have a wonderful time, but it is still gloomy outside. It, the sun hasn't come out. I'm still good. I'm in my sweats, enjoying my cozy home attire, but definitely gloomy. But I'm about to go in the kitchen and get my pot loaded baked potato soup going because I'm going to need my husband's help because there's a lot of potatoes to peel. Let's get this soup going because we didn't, haven't eaten a lot because I know that, a, you know, a loaded baked potato soup is kind of heavy. So I am hungry. I'm getting there, guys. So I'm going to get in the kitchen and start cooking. <laughs> baked potato soup is done it smells good my belly is hungry all right guys it's about that time to wrap up today's vlog but I have enjoyed hanging out with you I have enjoyed still embracing the very early, early season of fall. And I'm just, I just can't wait to celebrate this time with you guys. There's nothing that makes me more happy, more giddy than 
celebrating this current season that we're in, in almost every season. I love to live and do things in my life by the season that we end. I feel like you truly, truly enjoy what each season represents by doing so. So thank you so much for being here. I have enjoyed myself today. I love, I'm so in love with the fall candles that I created. Let me show you. The crackling is on like 10. Love these candles. Let me show you real quick before I log off. You heard the crackling? That just makes me so happy. I feel like there's a little fireplace going on in the home, but definitely gonna make some more candles and gift them to some family and some um, friends of mine. I think it would be a great little gift to give them. Again, it's something that you make at home and I feel like it's extra special when you make something homemade and you gift it to someone. So I, again, let me go ahead and close out the vlog. If not, I will keep talking to you guys, but I have thoroughly enjoyed hanging out with you guys. And I hope you guys have enjoyed hanging out with me. And I cannot wait to see you guys very, very soon. Bye, guys. Bye.